Uh, but obviously, FBX first. We'll see how this one goes. We're already jumping into the action here, Tom. And very quickly, it looks like Fig want to take that fight towards bathroom, having already secured the site pretty much. Hey, you know, it's a good first kill when it comes in with three assists alongside it. Zipan will at least be able to trade, but it's gone firmly into the favor of Fig for now. Zipan looking to try and get in on the retake. I imagine these colors are backwards, right? Because I, I'm, I'm now looking at this going, red doesn't match red and green doesn't match green. So either that or I've lost my mind. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, big on that attack side, looking to take all that space. And at this point, FPX are going to have a tough time really fighting their way back into this. Looks like it's all but concluded, and the pistol's going to go in favor of that attack side, unless Sugetsu's got a big play up his sleeve, and you can see those shots not landing at first. Now the time's just going to be way too far gone. Nicely opened up. A very interesting fight, that's for sure. Xiao, this is a bit of an awkward position to be battling from, but he's done a good job. He's getting tanked by some of the more valuable weapons they have, but obviously he wants to have that control over who could have fight on the site. Sadly, he won't be gaining it this time, and the rest of the players got it's just Xiao cleaning it all up. He's got four in this round, trying to pressure A to get that push coming on the B side. It comes up this control. Ardis, all he really needs to do is just make sure no one can cut him from behind, oh. and that flash was just sick. So he gets to easy couple of kills, and now the remaining players are literally stuck within that hookah spot. In with a crossfire, shouldn't be able to get anything, but Twiston still does, bitch. Uh, he's dead, but I don't know how he gets both of A tactic if they manage to get a spike down. Like, I, I think that's one of the, the biggest values we actually get, and well, it's already gone, but it comes as a table to get the plan through. It has to be the sheriff duels that go their way. On oh, that grab well. That eliminates Casp <laughs> immediately. Well handled, but still plenty of ground left for FPX to defend. The drone's going to spot the first. They know that Aslan's up close as well. They'll swing to try and catch them off guard. That doesn't work. And Obnox gets nothing done either. This is exactly what I was saying. You'll lose all the duels most of the time when it comes to the rifle versus sheriff. But I'm surprised they got away with nothing. That was really clean. On uh, the opposite when we come into the, the switch up onto like Sky or something, and then you have Jet for him. Good start though. Aslan already finding one, and here comes that showstopper. Almost too easy. How is Impressive fast pace play. Once we saw it in the, in the early round on Pistol, I think it was, and then we. Well, more importantly though, I am just keeping an eye on what Xiao's doing, because as I said, I, I feel like they need to have a little bit more control. What? Okay. And stop these guys from pushing on through. Sorry, no, it's just gone down. Oh, okay, so the timing's worked out decently well. And they've picked off Zipan. Still getting to that site with 20 seconds left. It's going to be tough. The grab well slows them. Another kill on the cross. Time now starting to be a big old issue. It's time to get that planted. But God B swings into heavy traffic with a 4K against. So, yeah, it was well played. How's he hit the last round shot and then Twiston's just owned him this time? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Ooh, that's a nice nade and grab. Well, Xiao had no chance and caught up in it. Angel wanted to get aggressive and pull the advantage back into their favor. It's not going to work out. And Zipan's down, revealed in the open and dealt with all too easily. The rotates come in quickly to the B site. Now, on both sides, though, because Artis is here as well, but he's just a little bit late to catch them crossing the site. Okay, he's not going to be X. They're being challenged on B long, though, and that hookah control might not matter. You actually see Angel fall out to come and help his teammate, but Sagetsu, well, he's already gone. Angel tries to hide inside his Viper's pit. He's at least able to stop them from stepping out towards long, but that utility is going to fade, and now, in fact, it's gone altogether. And players have been spotted on long. Angel taking a very risky peek here, even got tagged up by the Hunter's Fury, and he's taken down in the end. I'm playing by Zipan, and... Oh, oh, twist. What? what? <laughs> it didn't look like it went through him. Uh, did he jump over a showstopper? Is that why I've just witnessed <laughs> it? It doesn't matter. He died anyway, but <laughs> that that might be the most techy way to dodge a showstopper. It <laughs> just it, it seems like almost like a Fast and Furious movie where yeah. it's just like something's come flying and he just gone, whoa. And it's like, there is no way you could have reacted that fast. Cool guys don't look at explosions, right? Well, there you go, guppies. <laughs> Closing out this round five for conscious of peeking long early. I think they're even going to then just drone this out and spot it early on. Oh, well, nice aggression from Xiao though. He switched 
his spot on the map. Oh, it's perfect from Gob, though. He didn't even have the support for someone else to beat. And he goes through and gets Angel as well. The IGL leading the charge in this round. And after what was an incredible start, in fact, from Xiao, it's still going to be an afterplan once again. And Big have certainly secured that, and even Elbow as well, twisting. No. Even another for a stun. Yeah, I, I think this one might be done. Oh, they used the stun first. Interesting. I guess they just knew that they had Twisted in spot, so yeah. if anybody was defusing, they'd be completely stunned, and then if, if that doesn't work and he spots that someone's defusing... But one more round here for FPX will help them out. It'll even the playing field moving into the next, and the likelihood still in question. Angel making things a little bit easier, but somehow on that wide swing, Twisted still managed to get a kill onto the back of sight. I think it was a jump peek? Just ridiculous. That's where he killed the player, right in front of Artis. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit of luck, but I don't know if it would have made that much of a difference in the round. No, let's just win some B rounds now. And FPX are going to look towards the B side. Early <laughs> trades, one to one in their favor. Jumping out of Hookah, not going to be great for Angel. And his teammates need to make it out long if he's to even do that. Otherwise, it's just going to be mowed down on the way. One kill might. It's whether or not he'll catch him on the way through and he's not looking. It should be for free. Oh, the classic could be unkind. And Aslan's going to get nothing for it. That might just be the turning point, but the remaining players are so desperately low. If Casper can find either of them, there's a chance, but Xiao just waiting in the corner. It's left all onto Ovnox. The patience of FPX, something we've known for a, an eternity under Angel's leadership. Has paid Two players very low on HP, but you know, it has to be duels that he takes them down in, not having any damage dealing utility. And now he's quite low himself. Dealt with it. Uh, some other guns that got changed and thankfully nerfed, but it's still good enough to use within these sort of rounds. Have that angel fake. He rotates around and, and well, then he used to play his entry brimstone, right? But we're not going to see Zipan alive for the late stage. He got picked off in through Hookah and the rotates are coming in. But on the A site, we've still oh, got no. Twiston in position. And he's so aggressive as well, but he's giving away his spot. Bobby's known to be pushing through the TP, but he's dropped a spike. Oh, everything's going big's way in these duels. The rifles winning out, the positioning fantastic, and now the time too far gone for Angel to have a kill onto Caspe, but that'll be all. Just probably looking to try and save the weapon into the next round. Not really. Nice to see him take that confidence route, something that Angel used to spearhead himself. The entry fragging, IGL smoker. Double kill for FBX. They've got control, but God B storms into the site. That was through Viper <laughs> utility and everything. Yeah. <laughs> They've actually still brought this back though. Both control could become a bit of an issue. Trying to clear both of these angles at once is going to be fairly difficult, but instead they actually use the Viper Util to try and force him out of the corner. Artist though will land the shot anyway. And now Aslan on 70 HP has to try and clutch versus two. The first will go his way for the blast pack, forcing him. It got a little dicey. Zipan lost like six health. Um, Weird that they did that, it, but you'll kill them <laughs> if they're on the side close. So it, was, it was strange. Maybe a bit of miscommunication, a bit of, a bit of panic. Oh, oh, no! Aslan's been caught in his ultimate, but Angel kept on going, and well, that has taught him a lesson. I've never seen this level of aggression from IGLs. Like, God B goes, oh, they've got B, and they've they put a Viper Orb, I'll run through it. And then Angel is like, oh, some of them have pistols, and there's a Viper's Pit? I'm in. I'm, I'm running oh. through mid where the other is, but he only has a pistol. It's a classic. He literally has bought nothing into this round. And by the looks of it, he's going to get hit with a showstopper, but it's for a trade. That's absolutely fine. Big have made it work. I realize, <laughs> yeah, FTX yeah. have literally ran the clock down massively. Well, Angel had the rifle and he got completely isolated. That utility coming out of Viper, you know, hasn't been challenged all round. You're pushing the A site versus Viper util versus a Viper who still has both snake bites with 20 seconds left on the clock. Now, that doesn't sound like a great ending the game, and they're doing that on the defense by just sitting still and waiting for their opponents to start pushing forward. This time, FBX wait for the Viper Util to cycle, but the snake bites are still there, helping out on the hold on long. Then one goes down to stop the mid push. I mean, again, FBX are running perfectly into Big's utility. <laughs> defense couldn't ask for a better situation maybe they could if aslan wasn't stuck in this corner because now he's in trouble but he deals with our spike right in front of him but i don't see a way that he comes out of this round with any level of success and obnox is there to close it out it has been 
perfect. Locking them down, as you said, in, in two different avenues. He's the one watching mid and then just has time to switch up, put a snake back down, look back, and sort of support his team along the way. That is wonderful stuff coming out from in, in a way, it's not that you can tell this is Big's map pick. Oh, hold on, Nox, Nox, he's doing it again. We saw him attempt this earlier on with no success. No way. And although the grab well connects, the, the gun, God B will be there with information that they're pushing in towards the site. And he has a crossfire with Caspe, who is not going to be checked for. And he's actually trying to fight back into this, giving a way into the round. But with God B still here, they need to clear him. And there is support looking to try. Surprise. As he creeps around through elbow, he's going to have this cross covered. Artist looking to catch him pushing out through spawn. Will his spidey senses tingle? No. Oh my God. He's got his back turned. Gobby executes. Silva diff to close this one out. To almost try and call in that bait that was going in onto the other side of the map. And they will actually know that at least for now there is no one within the site. Zipan's going to catch the pushing from Twiston as well. However, the spike has been dropped out in the open. This gives a little bit of an opportunity for Big to fight this one back. The swing from God B. He's still just going ham. It's left onto him once again in the clutch situation. He's heard the reload. And of course, just to make sure that they bolster up this by at least a little bit. But again, within seconds, there is a player over on that big side, which has hit the deck. Yeah, garage push really not working out for them, and that's Killjoy Utility taken out of the round. C Long is now effectively open, and FBX gain a lot more pressure without doing anything really, except holding in that early default. And although Aslan gets the first, he is caught right after. So timing Don, those are things you can fix coming into the next round. Back out, Flash from Twist and doesn't have anybody pushing with it. And now he's on the side alone, but getting away with it, he'll barely make it around the corner. Getting tagged by a bullet on his way, but he swings back into heavy traffic, taking down Artis, keeping the advantages in their favor, but the res can come through. Zipan was being picked back up. But then the swing came in from every... Oh, that's oh. that's such a good night. Good night. I've got them so much information, but it didn't catch the one player lurking outside. Who was it's tagged? so frustrating. That spike. I mean, they, they, they spotted him. They spotted him, but the reaction wasn't there in time. Twistin. Doing some good damage. He's stealing with most of these pistols, and Xiao's gonna try his best to refrag here on A. He's actually heard the player running back. He has really good timing on that peak, and God B is caught unaware. But look who's here. By the time he gets the side, Obnox is gonna be waiting. Is Xiao gonna expect someone to be tucked on short? There were only three players alive when he got that first kill. It's, oh, he spotted him. Good information to play with. Has an idea on the second player, too. That reveal clears out the back of the site, but Obnox had already repositioned and that's the team pushing. Oh, the aggression coming right out of Artis, and he's able to catch Cast, not with the knives, but with the classic, and now wide swinging on site for another. Twiston's gone down. Oh, big have fallen apart. They face pistols and a blade storm. The blade storm doesn't get a kill, but the pistols most certainly do. They get more than just a fair few. The whole team practically on the floor at this point. Aslan and Gobby having to fight back. And it's a scrappy 2v5. In fact, now Aslan needs the ace and he'll get nowhere close to it. A second round for FPX spotted, so it's not really reactionable information. Or actionable information. That is, though. Him forcing off, and he's going to try and play within the Nano Swim. It doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, and we're just hoping that he can turn the tide in his favor instead. Try to stop him pushing out on long, but that wasn't there to play with. And now, the flash out of heaven that doesn't connect. The Blade Storm oh. taken away from Aslan for the next couple of seconds. That's going to cause some major problems now. Delaying this retake that little bit more, adding precious few extra seconds onto that clock. Twisting does a damn good job of picking the kill up. And then ulting to stop any further execution. And Twiston, these are two players that have been around for quite a while and been roomed and looking for control. FP, <laughs> the turrets ran away! <laughs> it's escaped the spray. But Twiston has not escaped the Hunter's Fury. One returned on the other side, I think. Did I just hear that? Yeah. We're gonna have yep. a fight on back site that leaves Aslan in the dirt. Obnox is practically no HP. I, I, I am liking again. Like, this round was. Something I think we saw from Gambit quite on that side very easily. Like, Goppy's just almost trying to whittle away at some of the players. They're spamming utility. They were ready and prepared for that lineup. And now this becomes very difficult for the defenders to get back in. Obnox, he's still fighting, doing what he can, but Angel is so... That was Aslan's Cloudburst. I mean, it, it lost them the round. Oh! That's the skull! God! Oh, Nobody what? else peaked the skull.
guy, please. Play no, you can't do it. Okay, well, they got away with it. And they'll get the res through as well. Gobby's gonna oh, try and deny it. There's heavy traffic there. A lot of players staring at him. Oh, Gobby's gone nowhere. He's still just sat in this corner and Xiao's walking with his knife out. It's free. And now the remaining players can look to try and rotate back in. FPX might have just misplayed this completely. It's Gobby again. It's just gonna look at the rotation, or at least the early rotation. FPX were definitely thinking of just sprinting this one through, but it seems like the call has been made to go back. And actually, Zipan's going to get one through the wall. Not a bad start, but the rest of the players are still looking to make that push in towards the side. Zipan sticking around will come out with a second. He does well. The other player has fallen back, and they'll be able to play the retake with a man advantage. Yeah, the plan for big, but low HP on Aslan and Gob B with player disadvantage as well. It doesn't necessarily put the round into their favor. Gravwell about to make Gob B a little bit easier to kill, but oh. Aslan somehow gets away with a lot. The one kill, God B, 14 HP though, won't be doing very much. Up oh, he's wall banging him while running, and now got another <laughs> bolt through the wall. Three kills for a fragment that has actually landed down on the site. I know, oh, twist it. He gets caught running through. I, I think he was oh, about to no. die to his own fragment, but FBX are making sure there's no embarrassment for big, other than the fact that they might just lose the second round to practically an eco zip and lands another leaving cast ball by himself. A big round from this Astro main, a support player as we call him and both players are peeking together. This is going to be tough and he's taken down by zip and I'm hopeful. That was disgusting. That, was, that, that was hit Twistin as well. He's down to a sliver of health and Artis is not looking to give up just Ooh, yet, but okay. that might be a mistake over aggression perhaps. Looks like Sagetsu's at least avoided getting hit by that knife, but he has been spotted the drone flying overhead. They've got a star down, and well, the stuns come through on both sides. A little bit late from the defense. The kill had already happened. Angel is going to be dealt with as well. They're coming in, funneling one at a time onto the site. FPX weren't winning the duel. It's to play with at least one here. And now they know that the Kobe is clear. All they've got to do is play the long angles, but, you know, that's the hard part. They were really hoping someone played a little bit more aggressive. Show. What a good read. A bit worrying, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think he also took out Ardis. I think so, yes. Yeah. Information will that drone get? Nothing more than they already knew. A Hunter's Fury will be activated to try and pursue. It gets Ardis, Xiao is down, and wow, this is a good push so far. They at least know that Angel's stuck in this corner and should be able to isolate those duels, but with Obnox going down, this becomes very dangerous indeed. They've just allowed Angel to walk out, making it back over to the site and waiting to take this peak on the Caspo's dealt with right away. A big blow for FPX with Gobby left alone. This man has been clutched so far and all- Gobby's already planted. A recon to play with, but I mean, there's nothing to block vision for Sagetsu. He's a killjoy, and the alarm bot's already been used. Time to tap that and wait for a peek, and Gobby is just way lose that many players. But FPX have rotated in in the B site. They want to crunch this with the weaker weapons. Angel's already able to pick up a drug triple. Opening. What? Talking about fragging IGLs, and Angel steps it up, not to be forgotten. Ten is nuts, and we saw it dominating EU for so long back in the day. Sagetsu. Only able to find the one here oh, now under dude. a lot of pressure. The operator only has one shot left and he won't even fire it. Zipan comes to save the day though. A Hunter's Fury landed on the Caspa. And Big might just have run out of luck. Twiston is the last man alive. Tucked in on this site. No spike possession. And at this point with 18 HP and being oh, revealed. Yeah, that's how he thought it was. Yeah, they've, they've just blitzed through these last few rounds. Ardis as well, 2KD, 26 and 13. Zipan up there, 21 and 11. They have those performers exactly as any. By the way, Chow has 19 assists. He is out what? assisting a KO. And, and we know how easy it is to get. You said 25 as 35. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with Oh, a lot of trouble here as big. Push into the site and just get torn to shreds. And the initial duels, maybe a uh -oh. chance. Twiston, though, is having to be revived. And with Gobby swinging out into the final players, it was, it was always, always around at that time as well. So, big drag. Twiston able to catch the first and even decent. A little bit of a surprise considering the position he was in. Aslan has just run all the way into the spawn of his opposition. And Angel. 
about to take up that orb. Go for the peek. There's the recon. And there's the peek after, but Twiston's a little bit too quick. Securing the site almost instantly. Big. They've won this round. Yeah, and a solid start from Twiston. The pocket player. And it's just a setup. It peeks out to go, oh, yeah, I'll destroy the... Huge coming out from Obnox. Knows that there's at least somebody up top taking that control and with Gobby on the other side they'll have a decent idea they're gonna clear the first player Obnox the flash is good he's just delaying he's buying time trying to allow for the rotation to come through and he's done a decent job of it but it will still be an after plan the main worry at this stage though is gonna be the aggressor of Soigetsu now if he's able to find himself uh, an off angle on these players I, honestly I I should expect him to having control to go to their opponents, but they have so much to deal with as they push out and so little to deal with it with. Got B caught on the judge. Aslan's down and Shigetsu's got them all. It is a brimstone. Get into a position, drop his smokes down and then start to play. But now he's playing Viper. He needs to be with his team on A to effectively get those smokes down, which means he can't play that Lurk role. Got B down below on one HP and he'll be dealt with as well. There's still some players on the site. Every single one gets spotted and dealt with immediately. Plant secured. FPX have the round. Beautifully sold fake to start things out. Great lurk out of Zip and now just a, not worth investing that little bit more. It was very peculiar ultimate full heaven control now to play with from FPX. An interesting adaptation. Oh, <gasps> the angel's been ruined. They had a trap wire there, as if they were ready for it. <laughs> Maybe not for the ult, but for the player to come through. 3v3 in the end, and look who's stuck on the site. Casp about to be spotted, and now he's in trouble. They might look to isolate him on the site. Artist has been deleted at least, but here comes that sh Oh, he's actually under heaven as well, Aslan! Checks it! Inside the cloud burst, he's surviving for now, and he'll right-click him out of the map! What a beautiful wrap in here by Big. something that Gobby has started to fall back to look upon, but it leaves isolated jewels and versus these pistols, that leaves an opportunity, but Casper gets the right timing on the peak. Might actually be a, com a kill coming through, but three players standing, one of them within the side, and Zipan just goes huge. Ardis from behind as well. And it's left on to as what adaptations Big are going to make, because it, it seems to now... Combat coming, lots of damage taken, flash in, and oh, Casper takes his time on that one. He ends up gravwelling himself, and he'll make it away, getting the reload off before falling to Xiao's bullets. Big with the disadvantage, everybody coming in through spawn, no heaven control. And now fighting against oh! the blind as well, the timing for Twiston, luckily Artis is there to trade. Uh, probably a little bit conf and the next round you blast array because the adaptation big or the logical one about me <laughs> yeah a curious choice what's he gonna do now uh, where did he can't even get close to them there's a uh, blast pack right behind him he's ran through okay. and it's still being watched they were ready for that play and they found another casp's gone down in the one-to-one -one trades the site's now theirs. There's a player in heaven challenging, and Obnox has gone down. It was a 2v2. Aslan had an op. This was winnable, but Obnox just went absolutely crazy, swinging out for that fight. And now it has to be the clutch that's just never going to happen. Five to five. Playing off what happened prior. It's going to be a swing out from Twist, and he actually gets away with that, and we'll find the information. And now with the remaining players looking to be on cleanup, but... Xiao has managed to find a trade. They have the site under their control. It definitely looks like a retake setup, and more artists is just trying to deny as long as possible, hoping to be handed an individual jewel. Well, there it is. Xiao takes the head clean off of Aslan, leaving just two players remaining. One of them looking to try and make some space for the other, and Godby's going to land the shot again. It's all on to Xiao, and with the res coming through, he might even just swing off of this, but instead, Xiao has the chance to take both. He's wary of the flank coming through and eventually Aslam will land. Kind of difficult with two players down towards side and main. I, okay, that's the adaptation. FPX is going to say they almost have to leave the site. Instead, they push up mid. Already finding two kills. Zipan is on fire. Another headshot. Still got players watching in towards B main as well, knowing that this hasn't been stolen away. The worry is that Zipan's the one taking the peak. He was just looking for the information. They end up getting both. It's actually not Aslan, because he's come in with the Spectre, and Xiao is actually denied. Yes. Yeah, it has to be. Why did they <laughs> I guess the flow is just late. I don't know why Aslan's uh, dead. How is Artis killing all these people? No. Uh, yeah. 
have just thrown it back in my face. Let's give him a chance here. Got B, he's been nuts, and he's dropped immediately. Angel winning. The oh, it's a pace change, though, and well, Xiao is going to meet his maker seconds into the round. Spike dropped, but more importantly, he's managed to even things up, and actually, Ardis is just going to throw in the Hunter's Fury, give them the advantage. Aslan has gone so far, but again, he will fall. Oh, okay, well played by Twist into at least grab one. I doubt they know where he is, so <laughs> they're going to pick the pace up towards the side a little bit. Leave Casper by himself, but he does manage to sneak out towards main. A grab well there to play with, dragging anybody off the site. We've seen the second star used for stun earlier on to great value. FPX are trying to mitigate that entirely by making a play towards main. And they're... Oh, this is smart. You're still going to have to deal with that Astra utility. They're going to just tap it right now, make them spam, and as they do, return fire. This needs to be defused here and now, and that it will be. Hold on. Is the time oh! too long? It's close. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's, he's got going it. to he's get got it, it. by oh. one eight of a second. And he'll get aggressive at times right here on mid. And it's going surprisingly well up against the Blade Storm. And then the peek out from Artist. Only good for one. You will not kill my other. Yeah, Rez. Number two, though. They've been so aggressive in this round with the fights into middle. There's an opportunity for him to get two, and he hits the timing perfect. I was going to say it means they'll be playing together. In fact, since they're in, these are ratty little spots from big. They should be able to at least find the one, oh. and Gobby steps up again. One more needed, and he knows exactly where Twiston is. Time on his side, but he can't just sit in the corner and let himself be pushed. He'll go out on the wider angle, but Sugetsu catches him. I want to see that from them, though, because this is a team that has so much potential. Team Zest. <laughs> yeah, it Obviously, be, uh, it's Zest. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice little gap there Ooh. for Xiao to spray through. He's no taking way. a lot of risks, and while they paid off somewhat, <laughs> Artis <laughs> wasn't even aiming at him, crouching, running, spraying, and he catches a kill onto the low HP player of Obnox. Aslan low himself. Casper's one of the main hopes for this round, and, well, hope is quickly fence. But now they're coming down through sewers, and... Well, this is going to be a bit of an awkward fight. Not expecting it at all. Big. They've ran into another player in mid, and they don't know Zipbats here as well. He's able to get them all. Three up close. Damage done to Obnox from the snake bite. And although the Seekers are chasing Twiston, down below, he's got good timing. Great space. And there's not a double angel is going to be dropped in the end, leaving Sagetsu to do it all. Rotating in from the A site. They know he was here earlier on. And so that's going to give Obnox the confidence to just straight up plant it. But Sagetsu's getting here, swinging in from heaven. That's the plan. Stopped for now. And that's it. <laughs> great repositioning. Great re- And the sneak through with a hell of a lot of utility. And, well, the timing's been missed. Angel didn't expect them to be that far off. He's got Zipan alongside him, but he doesn't get a kill either. The showstopper does damage, but again, the heals come through. Aslan just needs to sit there and wait for that health to be regenerated, but the nade forces him out of position. A good frag for Zipan, but it's the first for the side of FPX. Still so much to play with here for Big, and casper has got a great angle. Low HP on Zipan, dealt with right away, too. The side is now theirs, and FPX have a tough retake ahead of them. They need a big play, and Artis has to do it all. Not a chance. Two more rounds for Big to hit to just one round. I'm looking at the economy of the other side. It's definitely not perfect, but there should still be a buy at least for the final round of regulation. Yeah, one of the main things on this map is you can use that Viper's Pit to control middle, blocking off the two main ways, like turning both sites into a choke point. And the main fear of holding A, your Vance player plays mid with you, easy peasy. They decided to use it there on the retake. Now, this is a much harder round for FPX with weaker weapons. Xiao isn't able to do anything, but Artis comes to save the day and triple the trade there. That's the 1v3. And he won't even get the first. <laughs>